Hi, my name is Mackenzie Kepsel and I'm an ocean lifeguard in San Clemente, California. I work for the state of California in the San Clemente sector. Uh, my sector includes San Clemente State Beach, Doheny State Beach, and San Onofre State Beach. This is my seventh summer as a lifeguard and I'm a lifeguard too for our department, which means that I operate the trucks and the jet ski and work in dispatch. Um, I also see oversee daily lifeguard operations and mentor younger lifeguards. Um, I am a second generation lifeguard. Both my dad and my uncle were lifeguards. So I have a little bit of history in our department, um, which is a really cool legacy to carry on. I grew up surfing, swimming, free diving, spearfishing, playing volleyball, and spending like as much time as I could at the beach um, and in the water. I became a junior lifeguard when I was eight, and then eventually promoted and became a youth aide when I was 13 or 14. Um, and the youth aid is essentially like a mini lifeguard where you get to practice rescues and first aid and shadow older lifeguards and learn what lifeguarding is all about. I became a lifeguard at 17 um, and my rookie year was 2014 which was also an El Nino summer which means the surf was really really big, it was very a lot of rain um, and huge storms so I consistently worked in 6 to 10 foot surf which is quite the entrance into the lifeguarding world. Um, I've had my fair share of massive rescues, I have performed um, a lot of medical aids, medical aids in the water, different interagency operations, um, and I've just had a lot of experience with our local beaches. Um, I had a pretty crazy rescue one time where I was in the tower and I got a call over the radio for blood in the water. And all we heard was there's an injury offshore about a mile out and there's blood in the water. So I took the paddleboard and I just started paddling. And I paddled, paddled, paddled and I met up with our boat and there was a man who had been pinned in between two jet skis and had a back injury. So we backboarded him and loaded him onto the boat and which was quite the process because there were only two of us that were able to handle the board. Um, and once we got him on, we took him into the harbor where I met my dad who is a fire captain for Orange County Fire and he was the paramedic on duty and so we transferred over the patient. Um, he ended up going to the hospital and further care is taken, but it was just a really cool experience to be on such an intense call and then get to hand the patient over to my dad. Um, as a female lifeguard, I've worked in the department with about 100 lifeguards and 15 or so of us are girls. And when I started, there were about five or six of us. So we definitely work in a boys club, but that being said, the boys are amazing. They're so supportive and so protective of us. And it's really cool to be in an environment where as a woman, you're encouraged to grow and learn and um, really compete and become like the best you can be. Um, all of the women I work with are incredibly strong and powerful. And it's inspirational for me as a woman to be surrounded by so much strength and ability in the water. Um, I think for younger girls growing up, the best advice I can give is to really become knowledgeable, knowledgeable about the ocean, surf and swim and um, keep in shape and learn as much as you can to stay proficient in your skills. And um, you are performing the same job as the boys and you're just in a red bikini. So there's a little more attention from the public on you. Um, but you're performing the same job and you are perfectly capable and perfectly strong and you belong with all the boys. Um, this is such an awesome job where you, you're really in the public eye all the time. And it's really cool when there's like younger girls that ask like how to get there and they look up to you and it's very humbling to be in a position um, like that where I am looked up to. Because I remember looking on the beach when I was younger and it was all boy lifeguards. And now to be a woman and get to talk to these younger girls, um, I feel like I'm in a very special spot. So um, thank you for listening. And my name is Mackenzie and I work in San Clemente, California.